Hello and welcome to the League SB podcast. My name is Sefas and I greet you with goodness from wherever you are listening from. On this episode of the League SB podcast, I'm going to be speaking with one of the OGs of skateboarding in Senegal. For those who don't know, Senegal has got one of the best skate scenes on the African West Coast. This goat of a human has been around from when the flame was first laid to now. He's got a heavy bag of tricks, so definitely don't play a game of skate with him. Not only that, he owns and operates a skate shop in Dakar. Let's welcome Aziz. What's good, my brother? Bro, I'm good. What about you? Feeling excited, bro, and just wants to start shooting the questions. So, how did you get into skateboarding? Uh, I think I got my first uh, board in like 2006 okay. and it's my my uh my cousin my cousin gave it to me and uh so that's pretty much how i started skateboarding okay so were you a straight ripper um i mean like since you got your board you've never put it down or you kind of like slow down a bit and then pick it up would like to know that story too so when did you really really start skateboarding i would say probably 2008 because for like two years i didn't know that you could actually actually do tricks with a skateboard so i was just uh cruising and uh um bombing hills <laughs> you know to the best of my abilities you know <laughs> And uh, after those two years, uh, like start getting curious about, uh, or I saw some 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 skater do some tricks on the TV, I think, or on the internet, and I started searching for trick tips and tricks, learning um, uh, the name of the tricks and starting to watch trick tips, trying to learn the tricks and. So, yeah, I would say I started really, really skateboarding in 2008. Mm, 2008. That's a good amount of time to, I think, build up confidence. I, yeah. But then, how did people in your neighborhood take it? I mean, like, you see, when you start skateboarding, people in the neighborhood start to look at you like a different kid. Did you have someone you skated with or someone who helped you out until i learned how to do the kickflip i was just skating in my in my garage you know and uh and pretty much doing this trying to learn kickflips all day long you know and after that i met some other skater in like the french military base that that was in senegal and we started to skate together and have a little crew of our own. And that's how it started to, to, to spread. Skateboarding started to spread in the town. But there, there was a generation before all of this. But they, they were like older. So when we started, they, was, they were actual, they was already like mar- married and with kids. So they pretty much started stopped skateboarding, you know. Hmm. People growing up. That's the saddest part of skateboarding. Um, how is the scene like of late? The, the skate scene here in Senegal, uh, uh, it has gone full si- cycle again. Like, um, after the generation that had started with... Uh, uh, Everybody like went their own way, stopped skateboarding, went to friends, blah, 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 doing their, their thing, you know. Uh, skateboarding died here. Then another, another generation came. It's like skater of Senegal, Afro goons, everything. And now this guy pre- don't really skate anymore. So it's like back to zero again. <laughs> so, so I kind of like witness it three times like skateboarding going up and down in Senegal. So now it's like skateboarding is kind of not here anymore, really. 
But then you guys have got some top rapers though, like Jonathan. Yeah. Yeah, Jonathan, bravo, bro. Yeah. These guys get really good, but uh, unfortunately, they have other things in mind. You know, they're working, stuff like that. So I guess they don't really have time to skate every day, like yeah. in high school. And... Adult life, I guess. Hmm. That's a baba. But do you guys have parks in Dakar? Uh, we had uh, one park in the French military base, but it was like kind of, you had to be French and uh, no people there to actually skate the park. So we, but it was a, a, a long time ago, but we didn't even skate a lot there because we couldn't, we didn't have access to the park. And then I think in 2013, uh we we had another we had another park but it was again from a, it was a private park and uh, the the fee to skate there was like uh, 3000 cfa i don't know how much it is in uh, your <laughs> currency but, yeah. but, but you know so like yeah it's a lot it's a lot like you can yeah, at 3000 cfa you can like it's a it's a day of work for from some people so it's not, <laughs> it's not really yeah bro you, you can you can eat bro chicken and shit all day long with that money you know <laughs> uh, uh pretty much to sum it up it's like two two hamburgers oh, two okay. in a good fast food yeah so. big mac yeah <laughs> type shit oh shit so but yeah, now now we we have a, a third park that w- that is in construction right now and it will be public and it's i think constructor with w- building it it's uh, i think a, a french uh, company that builds a skate park in france oh, nice. so i think i think yeah yeah Okay. It will be good for the skate scene, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely good for the scene. But parks are one thing, and skate shops are the other. And I know you've got a skate shop. We like to know the vibe around it. Everything, bro. We are. We had two skate shops in Senegal. Both of them closed because I. Uh, I think it's because the skate scene was kind of unstable, so. I don't know. They, I think they didn't get much client and shit, so they had to to close the the shops. Yeah. But uh, right now, I started uh, uh, my sketch shop, so uh, it will be easier to get boards to everybody. Yeah. So I'm I'm really trying to. Uh, do the things at the same rate as the the skate scene uh, goes here. I don't know if it's uh, like it's clear what I'm saying. Yeah, bro, I get your point. So if it slows, you slow. If it goes, yeah, out, you know, <laughs> yeah. We'll I, I'm through. trying to do it like that, so guys will have uh, uh, board boards and shit if they want to skate because. Um, it, as you know, it's kind of, it's not easy to get boards in Senegal, in Africa, I mean. Yeah, so, true. Yeah, we need, we need at least uh, one skate shop in town so everybody can get boards, you know. And, you know, if somebody buys a board, he, he gonna skate it, but if somebody needs the board, he gonna pass it to, to somebody else, you know. So yeah. we just need some a uh, flow of boards, bro. That's it. After the rest, we gon' we gonna do our thing, you know. But, <laughs> I guess, <laughs> bro. <laughs> but we need we need boards, so that's why I started it. Mm. And uh, yeah, yeah. I guess the more the level will grow up, the more the scene will need. 
good skate gear, uh, exposure, uh, quality parks, spots, everything that goes with the skate scene, bro. So nice. Um, by the way, I kind of like forgot one question though. So, what's the state of like the other parks? Have they been bulldozed down or something? <laughs> <laughs> bro the um, um the park uh the one that is 3000 cfa this one is like they cut half of it and they made a, a soccer field <laughs> a football field so uh there is only like a, a pyramid left and that's it and like a few waves a quarter pipe and uh, yeah, so we don't have parks. Um, we can street skate anymore because um, I don't know, bro. Yeah. We're getting kicked out everywhere. All or All classic, classic <laughs> local spots are now, you know. Heavily guarded. Yeah, bro, <laughs> heavily guarded. <laughs> and I guess we have to to gather everybody and start looking for new spots but we need i don't know bro so there is no all that to say there is no street spots there is no park we have like one spot that we skate every day uh we have a, a flat bar a ledge and that's pretty much it yeah is it a spot with a fountain yeah that's there yeah Oh, okay, nice. That looks classic, though. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We, we've been there for, like, years, skating there for years. We've been yeah. skating there. Uh, <laughs> it's cool that one's yeah. good advice. <laughs> yeah, but it pissed me off, bro. We had, like, 30 spots, street spots, that we can skate all weekend. Now we only have one, so... <laughs> like, I'm we had stairs you. there's hand right handrail there money pass here bro plus the parks and shit now yeah you know now we have to go search for spots fight the security if we win we come skate here if we don't we never come back to the spot <laughs> <laughs> um one of the sport like you see there's this one sport i don't know how to describe it, it looks like an enclosed space with a drop. Oh, yeah. It's like uh, just, uh, you know, at the Place of Souvenir, the one with the fountain. Yeah. There is a, a parking, and after that, it's a mall, actually. Oh, okay. And uh, on the, how do you say, on the first floor or the lower ground of the, the mall, there is a, a, a plaza, like, they do events there and people used to like uh, the the youth used to come hang there hang out there but now uh there is not much people so that's why we can skate there oh, wow. uh, but sometimes like they they pull up like five or six security guards and they say nah you can't skate here Hello. Even though there is nobody, there is no fucking body there. Yeah, that's one thing I don't get though. It's like they just want to stop skateboarding. I don't know why though. Yeah, because they're not doing anything all day. So when there is a little bit of action, like they <laughs> <laughs> they jump from their seat and go, you know. Yeah, but, action yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> action time. Oh my well, like. It kind of like sucks to like for all the sports to just disappear like that, but then man, yeah. how but actually, we, we have some spot, but we need to like uh make it a habit to go skate them. So, you know, if people uh, that live near the spot or the security that is that is there see us, um. And that's one, that's one thing that uh, nobody seems to talk about enough. When you go to a spot, you like you you start to get to know everybody that revolve around the spots, you know. 
Yeah. And if they know you and they see you each two times a week skating there, you know, they will start to talk to you. Uh, you can develop a bond with them and, you know, they will, they will let you skate actually. You know, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you see what, what I'm saying. Yeah, I get your point. And it's like you build that kind and, of like bond with them. Yeah, and that's why we need to to start skating uh, every spot in town again, every time of the week when when we have a free time. Because we will know actually the the circuit of the town, which spot we can skate, which spot we can skate at what hour, how many times we we can skate this spot before we're getting kicked out. So I think that's what is missing with the new generation of skateboarder here in Senegal. That's why we're not like, um, we we lost our street skateboarding spirit because it's part of the, of the game to get kicked out, to be on the search for skate okay. spot, you yeah. know, so. Um. Just wondering, how often do you guys meet up to skate? Every Saturday, people are skating, but not everybody in the crew. Oh, okay. So, so maybe there is there will be two, three skaters, but every Saturday there will be people skating. Oh, okay. But all the crew, uh, I think it's more when we party. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when there is an event like uh, a best trick or new ramp, something like that. Oh, okay. That's but, when it gets late. Uh, yeah, yeah, but but yeah, that's you know some even even some Saturdays we are like uh, maybe eight, ten. So it's nice. Okay. But how is the skate growth like over there? I mean, new skaters, retention of old skaters. Yeah, bro, fill me in. Uh, yeah, of course, we have uh, new skaters here and there. Some are just casuals. They, they come just to skate on the weekends and shit. They, they like trying yeah. to learn the basics. Every now and then we have a new one. We we add him to the group because we have a group, a WhatsApp group, nice. uh, where there is like fifty or sixty skateboarder in Dakar. You know, oh, the sure. local, that's a the active. casuals. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot of skate skaters, and not all of uh, Senegal skater are in the group. You know, because. Uh, <laughs> You guys can have to ask to be have this privilege, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, uh, but yeah, no, there, there is, <laughs> there is yeah. a lot of uh, skateboarders here, you know. Okay, okay, but in your view, like, how many skateboarders are there in total? Like, I mean, like, in total, I yeah. mean, uh, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred plus, hundred, yeah, yeah, in and, Dakar. Uh, uh, yeah, in Dakar, yeah. Uh, every other town in Senegal is uh, is like dead. There is no skater there. So every everything in skateboarding happens in Dakar. <laughs> you know, that's, Pretty much. That, that's kind of like the same uh, issue we have here in Ghana. Yeah, bro. I guess it's because like uh, the, the rest of the country is not uh, as developed as the capital. Yeah, so, it's going to be more difficult to you know skate there oh. in the rest of the country okay nice like it's it's, it's like uh it's like that uh, in senegal so um, i i guess it's say the same in Ghana. yeah i'm sure it's the same across the whole continent yep 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 yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Bro. <laughs> it's the same <laughs> how often do you skate nowadays i don't know bro like i think uh really depends like sometimes i can skate a whole week and sometimes i don't skate for months like i don't know um 
But any reason for that? Any reason? The skate scene is like not really interesting. So if uh, things was moving, were moving a little bit, I would like invest myself more. But I don't know. I feel like I'm stagnating. <laughs> if, uh, you can say that. You need some skate hungry homies to live with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because I always kind of had the homie who would say, who would say "Yeah, right, let's go there." You know, you pull up to the set set of stairs. You don't even warm up. You try like it's crazy, <laughs> you know. And having those kind of um, people around you gonna definitely mo- motivate you. So yeah, yeah. The we don't speak about yeah actually we do speak about it a lot but that's true uh, the squad is really important bro street skating by yourself is good but uh, it's hard to get the same drive to go skate some stairs some rail alone that uh, you will have with the squad yeah the squad. Uh, where everybody want to get their clips, their tricks, you know, their, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, I get it. But do you lose tricks since you are on and off the board? Oh, I think I only lost tricks that I, that I, didn't finish learning but all the tricks that I learned properly uh, I feel like I need the two or three sessions and I can do them again so mm, not really uh, and uh, uh, it, it take me years to lose a trick really uh, really lose it to and uh, to the point that I'm uh, uncomfortable trying it. So, like uh, when I was a kid, I was doing late show. It's like like a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> every day, every session, bro. <laughs> and uh, I didn't do him for like ten years. Now I can't even. I don't know the timing. When do I? Shit. When do I? <laughs> I spin the board. I don't know. So it's weird, and and go do it. <laughs> yeah, bro. But then you you posted a late flip recently, though. The one I was making fun, you see in slow mo. Yeah, but it's late flip. Like late shoves, I can do them, but late flips, yeah. So yeah, late flips, I like uh, tried one one day. Uh, like a long time ago and uh, I quickly understood that yeah late flip, late flip is it's my it's my shit you know <laughs> I know if I if I uh, try late flips uh, like one session on on 10 I won't lose them you know but bro like definitely thanks thanks merci beaucoup merci no. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> merci à toi <laughs> <laughs> and nice bro Thanks for listening, everyone, and kindly like and subscribe. It goes a long way to help us bring you more. Till next time, goodbye and have fun.